about my personality. Some would call it bipolar, maybe. Oh, fuck. I thought you were talking about Hank. It's not what pussy you can get for yourself. Thank you. But what pussy you can get for your country. Mm. There Welcome it is. back to the Man's Gendered Podcast, everybody. Uh, our boy Lex here is fresh back from Hawaii. He went to Hawaii. That's why I'm wearing the shirt, dude. Very nice. <laughs> I do like it. Very. Just the just the forehead. Really good face. Real yeah. good face. You yeah. got a good face. Rocking good face. Today. That's what I wanted to say. I like how you're still in the Hawaii spirit, kind of like yeah. you wish you were there and not here. I do it's like cool. how your face got tan. Arms didn't get a lick. So. Yeah, were you wearing like long sleeves? Uh, in no, the sun? it's weird. I, I just I got could, pinker on the arms. I could see him being a guy that's like and sweatshirt on the beach. Yeah. No, actually, I uh, I embraced my fat. Your you, shirt off at the shirt beach. off at the beach. Shirt dude. off at the beach. Nice, shirt on dude. at the pool though. Well, so uh, that's What's the thing. That? That's the thing. I was. I. This is the. Uh, this is the f- <laughs> full time. I've gone full fat. And just <laughs> oh, been like you're just now fucking. doing it. This is the yeah. first time, huh? Well, uh, since getting fat, I That's suppose. That's big oh, steps. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. It, it, took you, it took you, what, about like when we three, had, four years to get into like full that, yeah. fat? Remember the That's pool nice. party? When we had the pool party? Yeah. Yeah. That was a weird Shirt mistake. in the pool. Shirt in the pool. Yeah. Shirt in the pool. You know what I was just thinking about? It's like, what if, I mean, since obviously your face is the only thing that gets tanned, what if you just like hung out in the sun all day and you got unintentional blackface? What would you do then? Ooh. You start singing. Utilize it? No, you, yeah. <laughs> you start singing early Michael Jackson songs. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 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 And people are like, no, no, no. Yeah. You're like, no, you don't understand. I have vitiligo. (laughs) Reverse vitiligo. (laughs) Instead of getting weird patches. Maybe like, oh. Got weird patches of dark. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you you guys do when you were in Hawaii? (laughs) Seven. Seven. Uh, Just hang out at the beat. Two. (laughs) Just hang out at the beach. It's already nine on the board. I went for two. Yeah, I think uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's two episodes in a row where we were like, <laughs> yeah, where we, where we hit one same, same, same. You guys are the the pylon refs. You both look at yeah. each other. Touchdown. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, beach shit. You know. Yeah. Do they relax. do they have bud heavies in Hawaii? <laughs> yes, they do. They do. I did not. Oh, that's a lie. Yeah. I had them in the hotel room. Of course, they did. <laughs> but um, when going out, I was about to be very surprised. Yeah, you're going shirt off at the beach, and you're not drinking buds, dude. On well, the beach, crazy, dude. I just they got so many Hawaiian beers now. I just got whatever. Do they have? Hawa- there's Hawaiian Ooh. beers. What? Oh, uh, yeah, so many Hawaiian beers are there? Um, I feel like there's a pineapple mash. Uh, yeah, there's just a, also just a normal like a, I don't know what you're trying say. to think of the mashes that they would use. Probably some very fruity beers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They, is, there, actually, is there a coconut beer? There is. There's a coconut porter. That's oh, disgusting. Is it? Was it good? No. Really? No. Well, it's like <laughs> bold. Really? It wasn't. Bold. Wasn't good. Punched you in the mouth, huh? Probably. Yeah. No, I don't remember you having. Didn't try it. Um, well, I've, I have had it in the past. Ow. I just didn't have it this time because I mm. I remember it from the past and I was like, oh no. Not good. Yeah. Mm. Coconut. Coconut. Maybe and beer, you grew into it though. Two things that should not go together. Oh, maybe. Yeah. But coconut and liquor go fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. So what's that? I don't know. You know what you can't coconut have. And liquor. You know what, what you can't have. Liquors? Carbonated. What coconut, coconut liquor? Can't have carbonated coconut. A pina colada, you dummy. Well, they, okay, so that's not car, but that's not liquor that is coconut flavored. That's rum and when they coconut. go together, but it tastes that's amazing. A f- <laughs> coconut flavored liquor now. When you Four. put okay. coconut milk into no, you, a drink, no, you put regular, which is light rum. rum yeah, and then you and flavor coconut. it with coconut. I thought you were talking about, like, fucking, uh, what is it called? Uh, shit. Malibu. Dex. Malibu, and Malibu I like, is lit. I feel like it doesn't, do, it's only, like, 15% alcohol, though. Yeah, but you mix it, you, that's, you make. It's a, mi- it's a mixer. Yeah, it's a yeah. mixer. It's a mixer. You make pina coladas with Malibu. And what? Pina you, coladas. You need more, you need more alcohol. Oh, unless it, you put just a dick ton of it in. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just heavy pours. Oh, yeah. It's a three-shotter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. The three-shot would be just like a normal with that. Though. Three-shotter is standard, though, for a pina colada. It's true, because that's about you have 45% blend the ice somehow. What are you blending alcohol? the ice that's, with? Yeah. What are you blending the ice with? What am I blending? the A blender. Yeah. What is that even? A yeah, what? And then Who has blended, have blended the ice, up ice? Anything, but a blender? No, you put the rum in. Three shots rum, some ice cubes. Oh, and then, yeah, the yeah. Mix, and then the, yeah, boom. Okay. I, I, I'm picking up what you're putting now. Throwing a pineapple. Right. So you were blitzed in Hawaii is what you're Rough saying. Okay. Yeah, you got to yeah. get blitzed. Yeah. How many daiquiris? How many daiquiris are you down? Nah, I'm not a... I, no. I don't, I don't do that. But besides like Bud Lights, well, or 
butt heavies. What was your like go to? Big wave. Big wave. Oh, What's I didn't the think big about wave? that. Is it blue? They got coconuts it on is, the front. It's not blue. No, big wave is a it, yeah. It's just a beer. It's oh. from Hawaii. It's like a normal fucking beer. Oh, you just drank beers. Yeah. See, when I'm in vacation mode, I'm getting vacation drinks. Connor can attest. Yes. I had a lot of pina coladas. A lot of lot of blue drinks. A lot of pina coladas. Okay, I, I I don't go blue drinks, but I am a Jack and Coke on the plane guy now. Yes, because I've embraced full. It fat. is great. Rum, <laughs> it is great. great. Rum and Coke on the plane for me. Dude, I go I go yeah. Jack and Coke on Jack the plane. Jack and Coke on a plane. Last few plane rides I've Woo! had, dude. Uh, plane ride uh, to Allegiant Air. Plane ride to Vegas. Oh, Jack and Coke's on the plane. Doggy, Tucson a- to Denver, which is like an hour and a half flight. Like a- <laughs> <laughs> Dog. Down, down, three, down, three, three down. fucking rum and cokes. <laughs> Dude, I miss a... Like, sir, can you put the life vests back in the overhead cabin? No! Hey, you don't tell me yeah. I'm looking... Ah! I'm seeing if PlayStation's okay up here. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, uh, what is it? I miss pre, pre-COVID mm-hmm. plane drinking because they, when you got a rum and coke, because the fucking coke comes in a 12-ounce can, they'd give you two fucking jacks. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Now they give you one for the whole. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck is that yeah, shit? It yeah. is some bullshit. It well, they did. Bullshit. They lost a lot of money from COVID. That's so now why they, you just get one. That's why I ended up getting the three drinks. Because you got Because if the they would have just given me no, if they would have just given me two, I probably would have been fine, which is the two. Then oh, he would have right, gotten right, the right. four. But then two, two. you know, once I downed the second one, and I was like, oh, they're. I mean, they're coming over for trash. I'm just gonna ask the lady, can I get one more? I got a little bit of coke left. I'm just gonna pour it in the coke down this. And she was just like, "Got you." Mm-hmm. So that was the best. Thing. I, I not this flight, but there has been uh, a flight where the lady didn't like. After I think I'd had like five beers, she didn't even ask. When she came around to get trash, she just had a beer in her pocket. Winner. <laughs> and she, you got a pocket beer. <laughs> I was yeah. like handing her like my empty, and I was like, and she hey, was like, "Can I?" And she just yeah, she tailgated you. Right she like went like she did one of these. Like there you go. Did the yeah. switch. <laughs> yeah. 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 It was just like so at a blackjack table. Would you yeah. see the switch? You see the switch? Because <laughs> I, I, yeah, I swear I didn't even ask, but she just had a beer in her yeah. pocket. She was like, "There you go." She, she knew. Like, dude. All right. She saw it in the eyes. She knew. <laughs> well, I think after like. Like, the previous trash run when I was like, I mean, can I? And she's like, yeah, okay. I'll get dude, you one. Oh, and then the fu- – dude, the airport in fucking St. Louis, dog. <sighs> the amount of buds I had in the, in airport, the airport in St. Louis. Dude, how many, how many buds? Dude, they've got – oh, my God. It's like the freshest bud. It's right there. It's fucking like 40 feet away from the fucking factory, the airport. It's oh. fucking, yeah. <laughs> It's Wait, so fantastic. the Budweiser factory is right next to the airport yeah, it's very in St. Close. Louis? Yeah. I feel like that's probably really bad. The planes out of there fly on Budweiser. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. They run on Budweiser? Yeah. Uh, it, actually, it's to just hit these the, guys up, dude. <laughs> they actually just put the hops in there. I get it. That's how good the hops are. Yeah. Get you from <laughs> yeah. A to B. Yeah. Boing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I hate us sometimes. I watched, also, uh, I'm sorry. I watched a Groucho Marx talk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Clint, who's on first? Uh, oh, man. I don't know, but this plane's landing on second. Tower. Hey. Folks. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, where are you from? <laughs> Dude, don't so, laugh at 9 11. Did you do any other like uh, fun shit in Hawaii? You like. Uh, I don't know what what is there to do in Hawaii. Oh, we went on like a did you surf hike? Uh, No, I didn't surf just because my dad had already rented a fucking uh, boogie board, and I was like, I'm not gonna go rent a surfboard. Also, did you scoop? Not scoob. We did you didn't snork. go scoob. You went snork. Okay. You should have scoobed. We snork, you you should have. You, you see, you should have scoobed when you snorked when you should have scoobed. Should have scoobed. Well, that's the best thing about. Well, I mean, I guess I could have scoobed. Um, Mm-hmm. Why but then you have to go? wait a little bit to go up in If you could have, why didn't you? It just the, Do I you? Think that yeah, yeah, because of, uh, what is it, oxygen, uh, the oxygenation thing? I don't know. I saw I it on know. CSI, where if you, like, deep sea dive, at, like, your blood oxygenate level or some shit. I don't think it was CSI. I think it was A Thousand Ways to Die. Jamie? What Connor Probably. Was on. But uh, <laughs> if you, like, deep sea <laughs> dive TV. and then you, or if you, like, go scuba diving and then you fly in a plane the next day, you can get this horrible altitude sickness thing where you could 
pretty much die because okay. of the oxygen Damn. content in your blood, like something with compression and expansion. Dude, could you imagine being into Scoob and you're like in Fiji and then you fly home? You, you like explode back to on the plane. Yeah. You're like, can I get a jacket? Bang! And like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> Let's That's another up. sketch, yeah. also. Yeah. And then, yeah. like the way or the sky waitress just wipes the blood out of her eyes. What was our like, sketch that we thought of on the way here? Oh, um, what is it? I uh, I think actually two. Yeah, so we, one, we had a couple. One, if uh, someone's superpower was just picking the right radio station, <laughs> like the and, perfect radio and, yeah, station. Yeah, and always whenever you clicked the button, it was just on a song that everyone liked right at the Fuck beginning. Fuck yeah. Um. And then the other one was it's just jukebox uh, hero should, every maybe time. We do that one. What was the other one? The other one was about Vietnam. Oh no, do it. Yeah, no, no, yeah, you, it? you got. It. I don't remember it. I don't remember well, it so, exactly. Uh, essentially, it was like a people getting confused by language <laughs> yeah. because they're like, they're like, oh, does that mean? Like, yeah. do words mean the same I forget thing in the, every language? I forget the exact derogatory term that they had. I don't think it was the one that. We thought it was in the car. No, but, <laughs> but I forget the exact one that it was. But it, it was a word that the Vietnamese people said to the soldiers all the time. Uh -huh. Like that was the word, like, and they said it to the soldiers all the time. So then right. the soldiers would call them that word because, uh -huh. like, it was like the thing that they heard the most from them. Which I think the word just meant like hello or something. Uh -huh. But we were thinking about like uh, yeah. U.S. soldiers, like going through the forest and being like i think the whatever the word yeah is, whatever the word over, is i think they're <laughs> over, over there here. and, and then, then they them, hear it and they're like yeah like them in like a tunnel or in like their booby trap like next to a guy like can you say fucking hi is hello like, the, the same the in like, every then, yeah, language they're like an english debate like or a vietnamese debate i guess yeah. a language debate and like is hello the same <laughs> and in then every just... language but we have that and like in uh in subtitles in you know subtitles. and then he's like like you hear him say a vietnamese name but in the subtitles like he's like like he says a vietnamese name but in the subtitles he goes it's like john and then you see the the guy who's talking like look down and be like is john <laughs> is the same <laughs> in every <laughs> like what he's the just confused by on? the subtitles because yeah, he's like, like <laughs> he's like is that <laughs> Is that the same? Like, give me a dictionary. They're like <laughs> looking for, like trying to decipher. I, uh, I had a. I actually came up with a sketch idea, but it's on my phone. I can't see it. Uh, but I was thinking about something funny today about how, um, you know, like R. Kelly, Michael Jackson. Like sometimes the the art outweighs the uh, the. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes the art outweighs the misdeed. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, and so kind of what I was thinking is that probably one of the most horrific things that ever possibly could have happened in human history was the Holocaust, right? Hitler was a great painter. Hitler was a good painter. No, he wasn't. But that's not the art that I'm talking about. I'm talking about the highway system as we know it now. He came up with the Autobahn, you know, and we adopted – Things from the Autobahn, obviously, it doesn't run as smoothly as the Autobahn. Again, um, though, here's but what it's I like think. you know nobody's boycotting highways. I got a thing know? on the Autobahn. Uh, oh, do you? Yeah, because Tell everybody, me. everybody is always like everything was running on time. Then, like, if there's anything like someone tries to say like Hitler was good, ah, oh, but the Autobahn, the highways, everything was on time. It's like yeah, everything's gonna be on time. When the only people fucking driving on it is the military. Like, no one was fucking driving around. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, the roads were fucking wide open that, like, whole time for, like, five years. <laughs> also, though, the, the, whole, the whole reason that they built the roads was for military vehicles. And exactly. Specifically, they built them as wide as they did so that planes could land on them. It's the same reason our highways are all two lanes wide. Yeah. With the shoulder, right. so you can land a fucked. plane on it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's for if shit hits the fan. Just yeah, Hitler was, was for beca was because shit hit the fan. He was like, it is not <laughs> going well. I threw the shit; it hit the fan. I don't know. Like, why does shit keep hitting the fan? <laughs> Somehow Japan got I don't shit. Know. They Build threw another it lane. Too. <laughs> Build more land. Build more lanes. And I don't know how Italy got involved, but they were throwing shit as well. And it's all, it's hitting every fan we got. <laughs> Italy got involved because Hitler couldn't shut the fuck up. And oh, Italy was like, God. okay. 
Oh God, I can't. I I, I won't do it justice. Uh, like just in my recollection of it. But um, do you guys know Mike Vecchione? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, he has a fucking hilarious joke about uh, how Italy ended World War Two because they started on Hitler's side, and then on, uh-huh. by the end of it, they were like celebrating with the Allies. Everybody's like, "Wait a second! <laughs> like, <laughs> wait, wait, hold on!" on. They're like meatballs. Yeah, meatballs. no, exactly. Yeah, exactly. He, yeah. He's like, he's like, I've how about joke. chicken cacciatore? Yeah. <laughs> they're like, okay, <laughs> all right. They're literally like yeah. burning their pictures of them shaking God. hands with Nazis. Like, hey, good job, guys. Yeah. We did it. Maybe what? If you break it down even further, like the American mob was kind of funding Italy's way through the war because they're making money for the Italian mob in America. So Ooh, Americans right. were kind of funding Italy through the war by buying things from the mob. <laughs> Whoa. Well, but that actually was also, though, uh, eventually wa- part of why the Italian like government and the uh, military didn't continue was because the mafia was like, we're not going to support you anymore. And they were like, oh, what? And then like the seven. I'm going to give that a nine. I liked it. It was sharp. Like your shit. It was sharp. Very sharp. You're sharp. You got sharp gas today. I got sharp. I got sharp. Sharp gas. Yeah. Uh, I'll give the first half an eight. Second half a seven. I'm gonna go opposite. Okay. Seven and eight. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is turning into Georgia TCU. I'm do, you, ass. do you guys want to talk about yesterday? Yeah, a hundred percent. Let's talk about yesterday. <laughs> so. Yesterday, we were, uh, well, we were invited about a week ago to do a podcast. To clarify, Clint was invited. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Clint was invited, and then Clint invited us. Yes. And they did they not argue yes. with us. Yeah. They said yes. Yeah. Yeah. She was down. Yeah. Yeah. Continue. I liked it. It was fun. I thought it was a good time, actually. Yeah. Well, add more context. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, was... I'm pitching it to so, you. So, so I and will say. Quarterback snap and the pitch. Go. So I will say, not even a, just sort of pick it up. <laughs> just like sort so of a, lineman's got it. I got it. It's my one time to score, <laughs> dude. I'm gonna bumble, get it done. Bumbling, bumbling, <laughs> stumbling. <either. laughs> I have no idea how to run the ball. I just cover right away. <laughs> it's run. about to be a fat man, Tony. <laughs> um, well, no. So I mean, just to provide context, though, what apparently we learned later was supposed to be a 30 minute podcast episode ended up lasting like three hours yeah. <laughs> yeah so it it went better than i guess either party thought it would yeah well i think the we should start with what the podcast was about and it was about well what should we start with the verbal judo she's uh, trying to do verbal judo and for those who don't know it's like a system of questions and where you just listen and you try to find like points of uh, like where you like commonality, agree. yeah, like which I, that seems very counterintuitive to what of, verbal judo is. Yeah, so theoretically, uh, uh, five. Okay. I like how brief it was. Yeah, five. Theoretically, judo would be trying to use people's energy against them. That's what I thought when they said verbal judo. I was and like, okay. so I was like, so I guess the uh, it makes sense that she would only answer questions. Well, if it was verbal judo, we won. Yeah, we, we had the right. We, used, <laughs> we, used, we ended up just hanging out. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. It just ended up being our podcast. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, we started rating our burps, and uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, at the outset, she really didn't want you to do it, but by the end, I think yeah. even they were throwing numbers out. There. Yeah, they're like, like that's six. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone got lost in our bits. We were just riffing, and they're like, yeah. "What the fuck?" Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah, okay. there were a couple times at the beginning I could tell that like we just hadn't quite set the precedent enough that like uh rambling was gonna have like riffing was gonna happen yeah yeah because there were a couple of times where she started like uh, or she asked the question and then she was right prepared to go to the next question but then a bit just happened for five or six minutes yeah, yeah. and she's just like and she didn't even say uh, acknowledge it she just asked the next question which is fine but it was a little odd because it was like oh no 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 we're no, you can we're add on to the bit. No, this is you're, you're, organic. You have a paddle. There, there, back to but us. there were a couple times where she was like, yeah, like this is it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was the funniest shit, dude. Like every five minutes, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, didn't like No, that. I was saying there were some times where she would like yeah, join she, in. She'd no, like, yeah. Okay. I, 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 and especially towards the down. end. Yeah. Towards yeah. the end, she I, was. I she doesn't have a direct name yet, but I think it, what was the podcast called? Um, Tucson Comedy Fight Club. Tucson Comedy Fight Club. <laughs> 
Which I do want to text her and be like, Comedy Fight Club is already is the a, name podcast. a podcast. I just want to let you know that. But you should call it like Autumn's Closet or something like that. Like, I don't know. Like Even if she just yeah. called it Autumn's, Autumn's Fight Club. Yeah, Autumn's You, you should also read like the message like that. that she first sent to you. No, well, she asked us, do you want to be on a podcast talking about racism and misogyny and comedy? And I was like, it's interesting because we do have like such different views on it. And like, and it turns out we have exactly the same views. Well, except for the misogyny part, she does think there's misogyny. Oh yes, well, I. Uh, she, there should be misogyny in comedy. That's well, okay, that was my She also point. thought though that we would get there. It's a comedy show. Yeah, it's a comedy show. She thought that we would get there, and she would be like, "So how do you feel about racism?" And we were going to be like, "For it." Like, yeah, 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 yeah. We were like, Love "No, it, racism is, is bad." <laughs> like, and then she was like, "Like it's it's problematic that Bill Cosby was a a rapist, really." Yeah, 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 yeah. Bad. of course, that's yeah. horrible. Yeah, and you know, like, oh, she was like, what? <laughs> well, she was talking about cancel culture, and she was like, do you think cancel culture exists? And I was like, well, yeah, it obviously exists, but like, because like you have levels of it where it's like, yeah, Bill Cosby is in cancel culture, like he should yeah. go down, like that's like the law, like that's what. Well, happens. it's like whether or not but, it's like, effective. A is Louis C.K. Question. Like that was cancel culture. <laughs> like they what? took yes. everything away from him from one girl's bad experience from a consensual sexual. Act or, 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 I mean, even Shane lost what most would think is like the biggest oh, life changing opportunity, thing, but because honestly, because of a joke taken out of context, honestly, mm-hmm. he's so much better off now that he's, yeah. he's doing the, the Rogan shit. He has his own, yeah. Like, I would say it wasn't even a joke success. taken out of context, it was a word taken out of context. They even took the joke out of it, they just played the word that yeah. he said. <laughs> well, I mean, just like they tried to do to uh, uh, Rogan with their like. The like five minute video yeah. of the N word, <laughs> <laughs> just saying it over and over and over again. And when they played him back to back, I was like, "Well, I guess I lost him saying it in like the however many hours of the podcast." Yeah, and I've then also, to. all of them are from like when he was doing it in his spare bedroom. Yeah, like, they were all, all from like the in third the Red episode. Days. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah. It's like from like 2002. And they were like, can you believe this? Yeah, in 2011, he said something. I was like, in, in He was 20- saying a story about Charlie Murphy. What is he supposed to do? Not say what Charlie Murphy said? <laughs> but also, I was like, in the special that he released, I want to say in 2000. I think he did. He just says it. He like, added yeah, word bit. 2005. Uh, 2005. We had Joe Rogan live or whatever. Yeah. He says the three words that you can't say are love cunt and then the n-word well we had that conversation about like because she was asked do you think you can write jokes that go too far and i was like i don't think so at all because like the bet like i think the best mark of a good comedy writer is writing a joke about the most taboo subject and it works and it just so happens right now that that's the n-word and the only two people i've ever seen do it and it works is joe rogan and louis ck yeah louis ck arguably has the most n-word bits that work yeah yeah, I don't even remember one that isn't it's, just him calling that deer the N word. No, there's one. <laughs> no, he calls a barista the N word. And then there's oh, like oh that. actually, I love the yeah. Also, the like like when he he hears it on the news. Yeah, and he's just like he's like and you're, now making, you're, me ma- you're making me it. say it. You <laughs> say you're it. making me say it. Yeah, um, yeah. But then I think I don't know if that's also like I don't know if it's a level of writing that. Like you have to have, or like a level of notoriety. Uh, same, same. I think well, it 50, just 50. bottom line. It just has to be good. Yeah. You know, bottom line, it just has to be good and it works. And then if it keeps getting recognition, obviously it gets more play. Right. People, more people see it. But uh, but yeah. overall, with all the questions she asked, which were, I mean, the easiest way to put it is they're very left leaning questions, like asking us these questions, and yeah. then it was just like we ended up agreeing on all, everything. Yeah. Turns out I'm a Democrat. I didn't know. <laughs> no, I think I no what's going to happen if she keeps doing it, which I think she should, it's a very good idea to mm-hmm. talk yeah. to people that think differently than you. Yeah. I think it's a very good idea to broaden your spectrum. And I think she's just going to get red pilled. Emphasis <laughs> on the <laughs> spectrum, though. Yeah, yeah. Maybe this is, uh, I guess, I think she's after. just going to become Republican. <laughs> but it-, it is fun on this side. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty nice. Gas it was, was cheaper. Nice. It was fun. Yeah. Oh, I just <laughs> Simpler moved to tabs. Texas where the gas is infinitely cheaper. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. What up, dude? Dude, diesel's like four fifty. Pretty good. Yeah. Well, because Texas is like, I guess we'll just dip into our own reserve. Yeah. They're like, oh, <laughs> it's expensive. We'll just fill it out. It's I fine. got yeah. some. We got plenty. It's like, we're gonna be good for like 
two hundred years after you guys fuck up. <laughs> 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 and they're and now they're like yeah and the, those electric cars we make those here too <laughs> so, like, yeah, we, we got those little pussy ass electric cars here also so. you want to buy them that's fine you're gonna feed our <laughs> our cool. economy yeah. so thank you we'll leave them in our stockpile when our oil reserves uh dry up in 300 years that is the that is the funniest thing to me though that the all of these uh fucking people who are Do like <laughs> I love the slot that you cut out, and it's just ching ching. Yeah, that's it's love that's it. Genius uh, Clinton move there. Well, I mean, he just cut out a part of what is already it's a genius. part of all. It's genius. Of you said the you liked boxes. it, and then you heard that I did it, and you're like, "Well, <laughs> actually, all he well, did was and I no, it was the worst that is thing. not that is not what happened is... because I said it was a good idea. He said it was genius, and I said, "Well, it's not genius because well, it's already there." But that really specifically was a good idea. So <laughs> if Lex would have said he did it, you'd be like, it is genius. Have you thought about just buying glasses? I should just get <laughs> glasses. Yeah. People would respect You'll be more likable. A lot more, more likable. Yeah. Likable. They'd be like, we got to listen to this guy. Like, you know what? What? We'd still be a red state if I had glasses. <laughs> Dude, actually, that, yeah, that, that was also a great story. Um, Clinton apparently tried to run for like president of his fucking... Uh, the GOP club at his high school so that he could have an American flag shirt. It's the only reason. <laughs> I knew the base was there to get the job done. I was like, this is the only club I'm going to be able to have this American flag fucking South Point shirt. Fuck it. I don't care. What are they going to do? Sue me? Sue, I, I wish they do. <laughs> I'd love to go to court against that high school. It'd be fun. <laughs> Like remember when kids were doing coke in your bathroom? Remember that? <laughs> you, you remember? You, you remember, remember how that? how you didn't let remember the pregnant that? girls graduate? Remember when a teacher fucked that? a kid? Remember that? <laughs> remember when you fired the lesbian teacher because she was a lesbian, Ten. and then she married a kid from the school? <laughs> okay, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. You said too much. What the fuck did she just say? We had a lesbian teacher who married a, school, a kid. Who married a kid who graduated? Who she taught? A lady. Yes. Nice. A lady. Well, she married another lady. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That and most lesbians do. <laughs> How could she? <laughs> pretty sick. Pretty tight. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm being honest, tight. It's pretty sick. Dude, we had lots of teachers at my school who were like fucking around with students. Yeah. Well, really? Not lots, two uh, that I know of specifically. Uh, but d d two is arguably like bad. It's worse two than, is it's too worse many. than one. Two is it's worse too than many. one. One is too many. Two is worse than one. Yeah. One is worse than zero. Yeah, you know? it should be zero. It should be zero. And two is too, too many. Uh, one of them was uh, an assistant high school football coach who... <laughs> eight. Nice. Uh, assistant high school football coach who literally, like, we already had gained an opinion of him before we heard about this. We didn't learn about him marrying a student until, like, our senior year. But, like, from freshman to, like, beginning of senior year, we just see him, like, walk up to groups of just you know, 16 year old girls in the lunchroom wearing his, wearing his cargo shorts and his, his coaching polo tucked into the cargo shorts with his long white socks and just go up and like Captain Morgan right next to the girls. Like ladies, how you doing? And he had one earring. Just no. like, ladies, how you doing? Hell yeah. oh Not good looking God. either. He had like the, like the, like the, uh, Mm, like a hefty bag, you know, over the belt, you know, just oh. lots of, yeah, yeah. lots of just excess, you know, uh, like fryer grease just yeah, yeah. spilling out everywhere. Guy was a problem. It was a problem. Uh, but he's apparently take, Bethany didn't think away so. from Connor. Connor well, was, was upset. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I had also, no chance with Sniz in high school. Sniz? Mr. McCarthy is fucking my game up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I forgot about sniz as a word entirely. Pretty good. Um, I just um, figured that's what Connor called it. This guy, this guy definitely referred to it as only sniz. <laughs> For sure, dude. No, nah, dude, he was definitely a box man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or a beaver. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, beaver's like his dad was a beaver guy. Yeah, his dad. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it, knowing him, down. knowing what I know about him, he was definitely a trim guy. He would just call it trim. Yeah, trim. trim. Yeah. Some trim. Yeah. Definitely call it a, trim. We're a it, pussy dude. generation. Pussy. Yeah. yeah. Did you guys ever feel like you said pussy weird when you were a kid? Pussy. 
Pussy. Well, yeah, because I walked around. I was like, I'll get out. Pussy. Pussy. I was from South Louisiana. Pussy. 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 And then Give after me that it, pussy. Yeah, I, I, after it, I had to go, I want to want my cramp. <laughs> I want to do a lot of your pussy. <laughs> Getting and then we had wild, a, so. uh, a freshman. <laughs> A freshman biology teacher who uh, slept with a, a student, and he was like, uh, he was like as good looking as a teacher could be, you right? Know? And so he used that to his advantage, and I guess it was like a few girls. Um, yeah, Damn. we had a pretty. Uh, I, I'm going to say this because he was problematic, and he got fired. His name was Mr. Paris. He got fired. Yeah, fuck that guy. Fuck that guy, dude. Fuck, fuck you, Mr. Guy. Paris. Mr. Had, Paris, um, fuck you. That makes sense, though. Mr. Paris should have saw it coming. Yeah, he should have saw that coming. Yeah. Took a couple of underage girls to Eiffel Tower. Yeah. <laughs> with his roommate, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting here no, trying dude, to come No, with Coach Williams, another, man. <laughs> I, was, I was sitting here trying to come up with like another name that sounds like a pedophile for sure. It's Coach McCarthy. <laughs> yeah, it was McCarthy. <laughs> Mr. Paris. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Paris and Coach McCarthy. No, but we, we had a, um, a guy who... Uh, who definitely, like, uh, there was all of these rumors about, like, not necessarily that he's having, like, sex with the students. But that he was having sex with but the like, students. But, like, you're like, oh. But it was so specifically he, that. He, he was only sex. talks to this one girl in the class, and, like, they sit her, like, she doesn't, uh, it was a gym class. <laughs> And she, she gets a, always gym. She, like she just doesn't do the warm up. Everybody else is like, run the fucking mile. And the, this girl just sits down. And she's like, do I have to run the mile? She's like, no, of course not. That's one thing, dude. I was, girls shouldn't have to do gym class, dude. That's where I did see misogyny. In That's my insane. Life, was gym class. Run the mile so you could look hotter for me. Dude, gym class <laughs> was crazy. Because, no, you're either. Dude, <laughs> That's dude. the most misogynist thing I've ever said. Thank <laughs> you know, God you didn't whip that out yesterday. Girls do have to watch out in gym class, dude. Because you either have. There's three types of gym teacher. Oh, oh you either God. have fucking creepy fucking guy gym teacher. Mm -hmm. Right. Creepy lesbian gym teacher. Right. Or fucking a gym teacher that's just checked out. Like, he's like the baseball coach, and he doesn't have time for your nonsense. Like, like, that, like, like kind of an like, asshole? Where he's just like, he rolls out basketballs, mm -hmm. and that's your best option. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had one of those my uh, my eighth grade year. His name was Mr. Herrera, yeah. where he was like a no-nonsense kind of guy. He's like, all right, we're playing dodgeball. You guys know what dodgeball is. Go. <laughs> and you're yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. dude, just uh, throw out the sack, and we'd all grab yeah, balls yeah. and just start beating each other in the face. Yeah. We the had best. a teacher who only taught uh, weightlifting class, and I'm pretty sure that it was <clears throat> only six. I was going to go five. I I'm pretty sure it was only because he wanted a free gym membership. <laughs> and he was like, oh, I can just work out at the school the whole time. And they're like, and sometimes I have to be like, hey, kids, this is how you lift stuff. Yeah. But yeah, he was. D d sometimes I have to spot Tim. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You have to spot tuba. like the. I don't feel like I should be spotting him, but I guess his back does most of the work. Yeah, you have to like spot the strongest <laughs> senior because he could like he could bench like three hundred. Be like, all right, I'll I'll train this kid. This kid's cool. Yeah, no, they uh, actually that was a, sort of a, a cool thing. He did have shirts that he would give out if you. Uh, if oh yeah, benched yeah. Benched a certain amount. Yeah, we had that he would too. Give you uh, like a shirt. We oh, had them yeah, for yeah. two different things. I don't know why we didn't have them for bench and like and deadlift and stuff, but we had them for. Uh, Oh no, we had him for um, power clean, deadlift, and squat. We had the oh, okay. we had the four hundred pound and then the five hundred pound club for deadlift and squat, and then the two fifty and three hundred for power clean. Okay, which is pretty tight. I think the uh, <clears throat> the shirts for bench started at two fifteen, um, and then went up like every whatever twenty pounds from there. Right, um, and then there was a one for squat. I forgot what it was, but. It was just frustrating that we didn't have one for deadlift, and that was the only thing I was good at. Uh, I, was yeah, I don't even know if my school had that going on because I did, like, I did. Uh, Your school didn't uh, team, have a weight room? No, I did team sports and weightlifting my freshman year because I was just like, I don't want to fucking be in class. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'll, I'll do an easy year, freshman year of high school. Yeah. You know? So I took all that shit freshman year. And then I was in those classes with, like, seniors on, like, varsity football and shit. Mm -hmm. And I was just, like, this little 13-year-old. <laughs> yeah. And so the gym teacher would just be like, and Lapsansky, 
whatever you want. Do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. <laughs> like, Those shirts were really good motivation for you to fuck your joints and your back up, there, right. dude. Like, yeah. there were so many kids who were just doing – everybody, like, go, just yell at you, like, turtle back. Turtle back and like, because you'd be like all hunched over, like doing shit with terrible form. Kids would like pull their back out of place all the fucking time, myself included. I would all do the squats time, dude. though. I would do squats. Yeah, I, I sucked at squats. I the most I ever squats. got for squats when I was in high school, I think, was three hundred pounds. Dude, I was one was, of the. Was I was it. doing squats like with the bar. So like my just my toes are on the bar. Mm -hmm. So like I'm also doing my like fucking my calves too. <laughs> like wait, you were like oh you were you standing do, yeah on you the, do the yeah, bell yeah. Yeah. yeah like yeah. a two by four you yeah just put your toes on the two by four while doing a squat. Oh. I was doing that shit, but I would do like lighter weight weights that I know I could get like twenty reps in right. one. You know, and so just, just the bar. Fuck no, not <laughs> just the bar. With squats, it'd be like 100 pounds I could do. <laughs> now, probably like fucking 40. <laughs> <laughs> now, just the bar. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, dude. That's really, that's really fucking dangerous in high school, too. Because, like, there's in high school, I genuinely think that it's whoever ends up being good at those things is, like, all genetics. You oh, know, yeah. because, like, people who have, like, a natural inclination to the proper form, you know. There's some other kids, like myself included, I just never could understand what my form was. Because I got these long-ass fucking femurs and the short-ass torso. So anytime I tried to do what everybody else was doing and, like, get the proper form, I would just fuck myself yeah, up. So I'm just like... Bench press is like that for me. Bench I can't press. do it. My arms are too long. Too long, like, dude. It's just not a we thing. You got these fucking Marfan syndrome arms, dude. Just, like, fucking... Like, I literally have to be, like, out there. And We're like the dude too, who played Alien out it's here. It's too just, much, dude. <laughs> We're like Abraham Lincoln out here, dude. Just... Yeah, it's too much once you're all the way out yeah. here, and then you can't go back up all the way, and then you just look retarded. Oddly enough, and you it know, looks like you're gonna die from lifting yes. sixty pounds. Oddly <laughs> enough, what happened? What What's weird is that uh, what ended up being better for me and what felt better was going closer together. It looks ridiculous, but it it feels yeah. infinitely better. But your bench goes down, so fuck that. Go wide. Mm, fuck it. I just do it with the dumb dumbbells. Yeah, yeah, dumbbells. Yeah, because yeah, that's. Because I can just free – my arms are free. I'm holding on one thing, you know? What's the what's the one um, where you go, like, like sort of from the ground straight up? Uh, that's a – well, that's a – that's a clean and jerk. Straight you don't, you don't, up? Oh, that's stop. a that's a snatch. Snatch. Yeah. Uh, or sniz, but – Sniz. Um, so I did, was doing a dude, sniz doing once. You ever done snizzes? Uh, you ever hit the beaver? <laughs> yeah, dude. I, I was repping, hit the repping out some beaves. Ripping some beaves. <laughs> um, <laughs> But uh, you know, you know, like the the mats, right? Like yeah. they uh, they sort of elevated, and they have like the shock, uh, whatever, so you can drop the bumper plates on them. Yes, I throw this up, and then I'm still holding on to it. You slam it down. No, no, but it. I lean too far back, and I fall off the mat. Oh! And out of nowhere, just this kid who was like benching manages to like catch the edge of the the weight so it doesn't hit him in the face and then i was like so oh, he, he caught all the weight you were snizzing no no Just, he caught uh, you know like the he got where you it. rack the weights so oh he right, caught, right like he pushed it and then it landed on the other side right yeah okay um and i was like oh also then it didn't hit me in the face <laughs> so uh, good yeah. on jacob what up shout out <laughs> shout jacob. out jacob shout yeah. out jacob yeah but yeah, a lot of crazy shit too, dude. Like some, I remember two kids specifically were like power cleaning in my classes and um, like separate times, and they just they just like catch it wrong or something or like they lean a little too far back and then they like try to throw it away. Then they end up falling and one kid knocked himself out on a weight set oh. behind him when he did that. He like oh. threw it away and fell and then smacked his head and then he just. Went limp, and we're like, John, Johnny's dead. Johnny's, Johnny's dead. dead. Luckily, none of that shit happened. One kid did try to do 500 pounds on the leg press and almost snapped his leg in half. Like, nice. he saw it almost go, and then he just, like, let go and just let it slam. Yeah. Because that's the thing, too, is, like, people are scared to let it just slam. Uh -huh. It's like, dog, you won't get hurt if you just fucking... Yeah, yeah, it'll, like, just, it'll yeah. just slam. Like, you will it'll be fine. Down, yeah. we, had a, we had a rule on leg press. So, there were... I remember 
being in the weight training classes and like just the strongest kids were always like the kids you wanted to like hang out next to just like because yeah, it looks so, like you're it was, something it, but also <laughs> it was just so cool to be around the dudes who could lift all the weight trust me you know there were three I know kids that feeling because i was a freshman in a weight yeah. class with all varsity football players and there were like, three oh my god it was just hulks <laughs> look at these guys and there there were three kids um i think i was a sophomore and they were seniors but uh, they, uh, I, I'll say their names because it was awesome. But uh, Stuart Tawney, uh, Kyle Walker, and then uh, some other fuck. Um, shout out some other fuck. Shout, shout out, out some other fuck. fuck. Uh, oh, Sebastian, some other fuck. Um, oh, okay. That was his last name. That was his last yeah. name, some other fuck. He's a, um, yeah, Italian guy. Yeah. But uh, we had this rule where on leg press, we had, we had two 100 pound weights. And we would never take them off of the leg press. So, like, if you couldn't do it, you just you just couldn't you just do it. Like we just had a rule that we didn't take the hundreds off of the leg press. So it started off two hundred pounds. Yeah. Well, plus the weight of the whatever About caddy, 40, I, 45 pounds. So I it think, started off at two hundred and forty five pounds. These I think three every dudes high school had that rule. <laughs> these three dudes, yeah, because it was impossible to get them back on there, so they never <laughs> took them off. Yeah, because no one's gonna. <laughs> yeah, uh, dude. The, I remember a couple of assholes. They like took them off and they let them roll flat, and then they're like, "Dude, oh, you can't. You're never getting your fingers back took under that." Half of the class to pick it back up it took like four people grabbing it to try to put it on its side but anyway these dudes in jackass. one day they all loaded the fucking leg press up and Stuart, tawny kyle walker and then some other fuck um they all just repped out over a thousand pounds Ooh. and just fucking terrible form probably and like maybe oh half God. reps but they were just repping it and they Push were the it. they were the strongest kids in class yeah that's fucking crazy there's have you seen insane like Look up weight room videos from, like, college football teams, dude. Mm -hmm. There's, like, running backs that are straight up crushing, like, 1,300. On those fucking, like, dude, like, like, God, oh, God. In, like, full form, perfect. They'll do, like, nine reps of that shit. Just go. Don't I know can't how. remember uh, who it is. Uh, he was a defensive uh, football player for some team. Um, who? Oh, I know that guy. Yeah, no, <laughs> some team. You know him? Yeah, I do. Yeah, he play. Uh, I think he played with uh, some other fuck. Washington. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that Washington, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, honestly, Washington, the Washington Harrison. Some teams. You know, something. <laughs> uh, but he he was he was saying he was like, oh, I have to wear a a sweatshirt in the gym because when people see my arms, they get uncomfortable. <laughs> and then he sits down on a bench, just. There's no spotter, whatever, like, mm -hmm. just in his sweatshirt and just, like, casually reps out, like, 500 pounds. And you're like, what the fuck is oh going on? <laughs> yeah, dude, people are fucking it's insane. crazy. It, yeah. I remember, uh, dude, this was, this was so stupid. I remember um, I had such a chip on my shoulder after high school when I was uh, weight training because I had, like, people in weight training just be fucks to me all the time in high school. And it, <laughs> Nine. Nine. Uh, and Nine. they were just assholes to me. So it made me be assholes back to them right. in the weight room. And then that translated into working out afterwards. And, and that translated into real life. And then I started doing steroids and now <laughs> I hate everyone. Uh, but, uh, mostly women due to just because like a dude was a meathead in the gym, you know, like who literally looked like a fucking gorilla. You guys remember how big I was at one point. This dude was yeah, like I was measuring your arms. Every open mic I saw you. <laughs> This dude, he was enormous. He was so fucking big. And I remember just hearing things about him in the gym and just seeing him. And I was like, this guy's a fucking asshole. Just assuming, you know, right. this dude comes up to me. Were in, you bigger than me? In, in, shit. <laughs> no, but I wasn't, I wasn't doing steroids at the time. I was like maybe 215 pounds. I was just natural. And I was still struggling with, like, getting up my squat and stuff. And so I was squatting in the hack squat machine, right? And I had, like, no weight on. And I was, like, just doing my things, doing what I was doing. Trying to get your form down. Trying to get my form down. This yeah. guy comes up to me. He's just like, hey, you know, if you get your feet a little bit, do this and a little wider, it would be better for you. I look this 290-pound monster in the face <laughs> like a fucking idiot. And I was like, I don't need you to tell me about my workout, okay? Don't tell me how to do my workout. At 215 pounds, and this dude easily could have just just raped me right there. He could have just <laughs> just fucked me and so no hard right there. No one would have said a thing. No one would have said a thing. They would have waited to call the cops after he was like, done. Dude, Mike's raping. Let him he, go. <laughs> Nobody stopped Mike. When he he just, I looked him dead in the face like an idiot, and I was like, no, no, no. 
don't, don't tell me so. don't tell me how to do that and I, I I thought about that for like six months before I, I saw him in the gym again and I was like hey man I don't know if you remember this but I was kind of an asshole to you I'm sorry about that and he's like I don't even remember who you are and I was like oh fuck right. dude that's <laughs> always been um, actually sort of funny enough I uh, that happened to me but with comedy um, I got too drunk at an open mic oh. like right when I first started no what I was oh oh <laughs> Being sarcastic. Oh no! Oh, you've never done that. No. Be like the time when Every you apologize for... to me or Clint, and we have no idea that what you're talking happen. about. Yeah, like, yeah, that doesn't happen what? twice a month. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, you get it. Um, but then I didn't see this dude again for I, I want to say seven months. And then... in alcoholic term, that's a year, year and a half, mm-hmm. <laughs> seven months. That's it. <laughs> And a I, long just, time. I, I saw him again at the Surly Wedge, and I was just like, hey, man, I'm sorry. I got way too drunk at your open mic. He's like, I've literally Seven. never seen you before. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. Nice. Um, six. But yeah, and then he was just like, dude, I truly do not know who you are. And I was just like, oh, see, I had made this up in my head that like you hated me. And yeah. he was like, I, I was drunk. I don't even remember you being there. Yeah. yeah. Then there was uh, – there was – Oh yeah, there was a. The first half of that sounded like a fart. It did. Yeah, it sounded like a legitimate fart. I'm gonna give six for the fart and then five <laughs> for the burp. I'll give you a five and a half for the whole thing, to even it out. Yeah, uh, I'll take it. I remember the the first guy though outside of high school that I that I was absolutely baffled by. Um, his name was like Wesley something. I remember Snipes. he came into it was Wesley Snipes. He was. What did you do? You get him a gift, and he never came. Yeah, my gift was here's how you do your taxes. You prepared his taxes, this is, and yeah. he was like, "Fuck you!" And went to prison. Well, I mean, had he listened to me, he wouldn't be in prison right now. I'm just thinking of but, uh, being bamboozled by a guy, and I think it was you know he got his number, he called him, he never called back, you know. Stuff like that. This guy, yeah. I remember seeing him, him walk in and not thinking he didn't look particularly strong or buff. He was a big guy. He was about six foot four, three hundred pounds. You know, covered in tattoos, backwards hat. Looked like a dude who just wanted to be left alone. Don't go up and talk to him. You know, right. gets on the uh, incline bench uh, press. Right, throws on one plate on each side. One hundred thirty-five pounds. Starts wrapping it out, warming up. I'm like, okay. At, at this point, like, everybody is looking at this guy, you know, because he's a big guy, and everybody's like, oh, got to see what, what he's going to lift, you know. He didn't look remarkable. He didn't look like uh, Eddie Hall, right. you know. He didn't look like that. And then throws on two plates, reps it out fast, like super fast, and everyone's like, Ooh. like uh, everybody's like pretending to do dumbbell curls, like just kind of looking at each other, just like what just are we like, doing? At, like they're just like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like they don't know they have mismatched weights in their hand. They're like, okay, and throws on another plate, three fifteen, starts repping it out just as fast as two twenty five, and everyone's like, oh shit, and then he throws on another plate, on reps the incline out, bench on the incline bench, reps out ten. Just does 10 casually. Had definitely plenty left in the tank. Does one more set and throws on another plate. And then 2.5s. And so he gets 500 (laughs) pounds exactly. And he does five reps of 500 on incline bench. And everybody... It was... Four. Four. Everybody acted like it was fucking Avatar. They started clapping. (laughs) They were just like, yes, yes. And then he was like... "Eh." Yeah. Just didn't even care. Nah. It was so it was the most ridiculous thing I'd ever seen. I saw that when I was like nineteen. Every time I do see a guy like that though, it's just like, What are you running from? It's like David Goggins. Yeah. What happened to you? Well, yeah. no, that guy's sitting there and he's like, Who's gonna carry the boats? Well, just, this guy did have a swastika on his elbow. Did he? No. Huh? But I mean that would probably be what he was running from. Yeah, it's it's the abusive father. Maybe. Well what if it was an abusive mom? Yeah, no, no mom's that. a Nazi. It usually takes a Nazi. No mom's a, mom a Nazi. Do you think we get away with having in... that as the title of the episode? No mom's a Nazi. Moms are made into Nazis. It's like Sandra Bullock. <laughs> They're either <laughs> turned into Nazis or they give birth. Nazi moms that? are made. <laughs> Nazi dads are forged. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Out of German steel. <laughs> yeah, damn it. <laughs> Like, no, dude, there's no lady that's go like, there's n- never been a lady. Even Ava Braun, dude. There's never be been a lady. Convinced. There have never been ladies. 
That's Dude, the most misogynist thing I've ever said. No, there's, there's never, never been, been ladies. A lady Nazi. They all had to be convinced by some dude. Ben, uh, yeah, I was like, oh, I would argue every Nazi had to be convinced by somebody. But my yes. favorite uh, thing going on fucking Instagram right now is there's like some podcast clip of a. Uh, this lady being like, do not talk to a girl. And then it's always just being like, no problem. Baby. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, no problem. Now what we have here is the an X-Wing. And it's like, yeah. it's like guy showing his like, Now that we, we got that out of the way, this is the ATAT. Yeah. <laughs> when you play the side quest on God of War, <laughs> that's me right though, now, dude. Just, that just legit knee deep. is, though, how I talk to my girlfriend. <laughs> dude, like She'll a complete over, dork. And they love it. And, be like, and the thing is, though, with NCAA 4, is when I do the recruiting <laughs> and she's just looking at me and I'm just like, ah. like I don't know what to say so yeah it's game week big game we gotta play Tennessee right now God, <laughs> God bless our girlfriends she's dude. just watching she's cheering when I score they in just, the video game oh she's my like God. yay and I'm like like the amount of effort that they put into like really trying to be interested in what we're doing, you know, just like, and so what happens when you do that? And like, so who's this guy that you're <laughs> Why? Yeah. Well, like, so, so this guy, like, and you're so excited to be like, no, that's, no, 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 he's, that's <laughs> no, that's a little, that's a little, that's a little squirrel demon. That's Ratatoska right there. Like, Oh, okay. All right. She's like, what's, what's that wide receiver's name? And I'm like, that's the coldest Johnson. I, mean, I got him in a transfer, and I got him from Alabama. He, I made him, and he committed to Alabama, and I was pretty bummed out. But then he transferred because he didn't get to play classic Alabama. And then and now he came back. He's in Tucson now. So. And then she goes, huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, big, Every time. Huh? It was very crazy. And the whole time she's just on TikTok. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, Dude, when I can't beat a boss, when I can't beat a fucking boss, I'm just like, I think I got to go back, and like I got to deselect these sockets right here. And then I got to put – I got to put uh, – Muspelheim's Eye of Power on here and then put that in there. And then I have to do Vanima, Vanaheim's uh, Fortune right the there. And that gives me that then... gives me 12 cooldown, but then it takes down seven defense, all right? So it's a, it's a real toss-up right now. And she's like, all right, so you're going to play the fucking level or not? You're like, yeah, but I got to prepare. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta God. prepare. I gotta, I gotta. I gotta, I gotta know my game plan going in. I've already lost sockets. to this guy three times. I can't do it again. Yeah. Do do I use the fucking the magic arrows or do I do the sound arrows? Which ones do I do? <laughs> you know, she's like, just play the. I just wanna, I just wanna watch this. Just, I just wanna watch you play. I don't think my wife has ever watched me play. Anything. Yeah. Does she ever like you watch you start, do taxes have for you ever fun? Started. Have you ever just started playing? No. While she's in the room. No. See, that's you she, gotta. She has watched me do spreadsheets. <laughs> she go, way to go, babe. Eight. Eight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> of course. But imagine now if it was Call of Duty and she was like, oh my God, he's going off. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm fucking John Wick. You know what it I think? It is the most, it is, as the kids say, it's high level Riz. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, for a girl to be in your bed and you to just be like, yeah, but I'm playing games, so. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, I, dude, this, is a, this is a they, sidebar. They're full crab swirl with that. They don't know. They're like, dude, you should be in bed with me. It's like, yeah, but national championship. Sorry. Yeah, I'm about <laughs> like, to get a nuke, though. It's more so important. <laughs> I don't know it's what's more going important. on. It's more important. get that nuke. Yeah. Uh, sidebar. I just realized we should be like drinking 30 minutes before the podcast and well, then start the podcast. I, no. Yeah. And well, then we're fully, like, fully greased up. I was like, I. Usually on our, our maybe other I episodes. just need to do that because like I start drinking and then I'm just like I'm like not really fully understanding what's happening. I'm getting comfortable and then like dude every Tuesday and I'm full doing, on buzzed and I'm like this is great zooms when we're doing the zooms dude yeah. I get off work I get home I go grab a brew take a shower with the brew go grab another brew after the shower because I only cashed one it one beer in the shower. I, well, I, I don't Fucking take that long. Poser, dude. You know I'm a sipper. What? I'm a sipper, not a chugger. That's true. Not a glugger. Okay. I sip. I give that a nine. Not a glugger. Wasn't as full. He's a glugger. He's not a chugger. He's a glugger. I'm a sipper. Mm-hmm. Three levels of drinking. I think I'm a glugger. Are you? I definitely though? don't chug. I definitely don't sip either. Because I, t- I do like glug Oh, you do. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a slugger. Each beer is get, probably like six. One sips. one if sip get, is not enough. It's not enough. If you for me. get two I plops, that's more. a glug. Two plops. Is, 
One two, plop is a sip. Thank you for explaining two, the, the conversion two, rate to me. Two plops is a glug. Two plops is a one, glug. One, one plop is a sip. sip. And how many plops is a chug? Four. Four? A chug four would be four or chug. more. Four, four or more. Four, four or more is a, is a chug. <laughs> yeah, it's like one crow, and then that's two crows, two and plops then it's is a murder chug. of crows. Yeah, <laughs> three three plops is a chugalug. <laughs> four plops, full on chugger. No, four plops is a chugalug. Hey, it's it's a like, chug-a-lug. More than four it's, is, it's is a, a full chug. on chug. Full on chug. <laughs> Can say, we come up with a nursery up. rhyme for this? <laughs> chugalug, chugalug, a ding dong. Okay. I forgot what we were talking about. Uh, I forgot also. Uh, um, you were saying it. something about... I think uh, we were talking about Nazis, weren't we? No. I God mean, damn it. They'll we come can't back. always. They'll come back. They, pff, I mean, Not like that, but God damn. Yeah, you watch that show, Hunters? Uh, no. Wild. Hunter. Wild. It's about uh, Jews that hunt Nazis. With Al Pacino, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's very intense. There's one scene where a Nazi gets found by some 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 broad... Oh, actually, I think I have seen that scene. Yeah, and he shoots his whole family. He's like, 30 years of work. He shoots everybody. <laughs> yeah, he's like, 30 years and, of work that was. And like, I what what to, show is this? I'm sorry. Hunters. Hunt, oh, okay. And I have to admit, my main problem with that scene, and this is just me, I was like, I think he shot 12 people Eight. with a 1911, so he would have had to reload, but he didn't reload. <laughs> he's getting seven <laughs> plus one at the maximum. He had one in the round. No, no, you have seven yeah. one in the round. Chamber. Chamber. You have Chamber. eight bullets. Um, he fired I'm twelve fears times. Deep. He fired twelve times. I was like, even if you even if you put one in the chamber, add maximum, you have eight rounds. Yeah, uh, yeah you're reload. right. Yeah. And that bugs me. What if he has an extendo mag? He is a Nazi. Yep. You think they no, would have thought? Like, you can clearly see They could have like thought that. about that. He's got a flush mag. What if it's a twenty two? Mm-hmm. What if it's a different caliber? Hey, it could have more been bullets yeah. in there. It looked, but and yeah. they were all headshots. True, but again, that doesn't. That's the only way you kill everybody with a twenty-two. That's I also, I'm yeah, assuming I would agree with that. Or, or hard shot, or hard shot. No, you no, it's got to be a headshot, dude. Even BP, why can't it be in the hold on? Look at BTK? look at me, look at me. When we're talking about guns, why can't it be in the heart? Because the chest plate. You can break through the bone, and, and then the bone shatters in the heart. It won't break through the bone. It won't break, break through the bone. But if you, if you, bro, it, there's been people that have been shot point blank with a twenty-two in the head, and the bullet stopped at. Their skull. Well, you gotta shoot him in the ear. Whatever. Well, you shoot him in the soft part. You I'm shoot him in the like soft part. I think it was BTK did that. And that's how he got caught. Oh, because he wouldn't shoot people. No, in he the, like killed. In the ear? He killed this guy's girl or this guy's wife, and tried then he, to. He, no, he killed the wife, and then he tried to kill him, and then the guy just like got up after he walked out of the house thinking he was dead, and like followed him. Oh, I remember yeah, that. Yeah. Like, the neighbor, like, yeah. And that's how, like, the neighbors called the cops and oh, like, this guy in this car. Fucking rookie fucking, mistake. Yeah. Wasn't he a pro at that point, too? Did, well, was he already, like, nine deep? Yeah, he just missed it by that much. Because, yeah, soft spot, you would, logically, yeah. but he missed it and hit logically. the guy, like, right in the fucking forehead. Then the bullet rode the skull and just... No, it didn't ride the skull. It literally deadpool Stopped? Boink. Right oh, stuck in the head. You mean Wolverine? No. Remember in Deadpool when he shoots... Nope. Shoots through the three guys' heads. He's it's in the opening scene when he's counting yeah. down the bullets. Yeah. And then yeah, he shoot and then the last guy's like, Ugh. 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 And he looks like that one actor who used to be a Marine. John Rob Cena? Riggle? Yeah, he looks like <laughs> Rob Riggle, but it's not Rob Riggle. <laughs> John Cena. It's like we have Rob Riggle at home. That's who they use. <laughs> <laughs> like a dollar store yeah, Rob yeah, Riggle. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my, my girlfriend's dad and I, we, we will intentionally watch bad action movies so that we can talk shit about it, right? Right. And, and Steven Seagal sounds always right. in the mix. <laughs> we never... Go to Steven Seagal. Really? We never go as low as Steven Seagal, except for Under you Siege. You should go that low. Except, except for Under Siege. <laughs> you well, should watch every no, Seagal movie. With our Seagal, your, our Seagal is damn. Nicolas Cage. That's oh, that's who we okay. we love it because <laughs> we love at it. the very least for all of them, it is entertaining because he he play he does Nicolas Cage in every movie. You know, so it's just he does full on cage every movie. Yeah, it's the same. And person. so when there's like a, a gun fight scene, like every 15 minutes, we're always like, "All right, let's count the let's count the rounds." And then we're just, and then he'll just be like, "He didn't reload." And he's like, two. I think he just set off the alarm in the skate shop. <laughs> I think. Yeah, we probably should stop talking about Steven Seagal. Our producer, our producer just went went up the up the steps to go to the bathroom and set off the. Or did he? 
Did is he, he responding? Because there was an alarm going off. Fuck, dude. That dude, was if there's an armed robbery ass. happening right now. We're so fucked. pretty hilarious that we're recording it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Nine. Um, yeah. Eight, Three. Eight nine. I thought mine eight. was low. Eight. I'm giving it a three. Well, we got to figure out this discrepancy somehow. I mean, you two are on the same page on the burps, which I find surprising, but I, I don't know. Mine. Your rating just... system. Again, can you go over again, like what your rating system is? Like, what do you score the highest on? What are you looking for in a proper burp? I'm looking for. <laughs> what are you I mean, for, for a ten. I want, what are you looking for in a lady? Huh. I want all of the above. I want length. Mm -hmm. Girth, volume, <laughs> right, voluptuousness, and that's about it with a burp. Length and volume. What about what about uh, what about uniqueness? That what could give spunk? you. That could yeah, give you spunk? spunk's not a thing. What about sniz? <laughs> but you, yeah, it could give you an extra point or two. Yeah, if there's sniz in it. Yeah, if it sounds like you're throwing up, I might give you a four if it was a two. You know? the, the, the yeah, like one of those. Like, wow, you really. That yeah. wasn't a burp, was it? <laughs> no. Yeah. Ty, are we getting robbed? Yeah, what happened up there? What did you steal? What's going on? Someone set the alarm and. Yeah. yeah. Did you Did you get the declaration? <laughs> did you get it? There are bodies. <laughs> nice.